welcome to a new vlog. If you haven't guessed from the title, I'm going to be filming a what I eat in a week. Now, when I tell you, right, that I get requests on the daily to film what I eat in a day. And I don't film them all that often because I feel like surely they get a bit boring. You want to see it, so I thought we'd shake it up actually and do what I eat in a week. I actually fell out of love with cereal for a bit, for a hot minute. I went for toast in the mornings. But I'm back on, I do a blend of fruit and fibre. Delicious, I love fruit and fibre. I think it's one of the most underrated cereals. And I add this Tesco's fruit and nut muesli to it because this has loads of fruit in it. Um, whereas fruit and fibre is lacking in the fruit department, I'm not gonna lie. Like, look at that, there's just brown flakes. Uh, where, is, where is the fruit? So we do a little bit of that. Then we add our fruit and nut muesli on top. I feel like this is one of the only things that actually fills me up. Nothing else really fills me up in the morning, like this combo. Like normal cereal doesn't fill me up. Uh, so, unsweetened soy milk. Woo. Also, heads up, um, I just got to do this disclaimer. Sorry if you watch my videos all the time. You already know this because you're, you're loyal, babe. I am dairy free. I'm not allergic. I'm dairy intolerant. So I'm not going to die if I have it. I just get really upset bowels. And I don't eat the most interesting food. My diet is very basic. Um, so hope you enjoy. Let's get going. And I also have a hot water. Lunch time now, and I'm actually filming a video. So for lunch uh, is basically all the food that I'm making in the video. And the main thing that is my lunch is this like, it's got an egg, it's got a tortilla wrap, some beans, some spinach. Um, it's very interesting looking. Also had some of these roasted chickpeas, which I made. And this, which is, oh, like battered Oreo. And they are so good. I can't stop eating them. Okay, so for dinner tonight, I'm starting to prepare it now. I am making this beef rendang. I don't know how you pronounce it. And I basically just made this onion blend thing, which I have to add to it. And then all the other ingredients. And then it basically goes in the oven for three hours. <laughs> so all good in the hood here. It does look really good though. Okay, now everything is in the pot. I've like browned the beef. Um, and now we bring to a simmer and then we put in the oven. Absolute bottom holes. Turns out the dish is not flame proof and it's exploded. Ah, I don't know what to do. I'm really hot. What the heck do I do? Ah. Oh, I don't actually know what to do. Oh, it's supposed to be a really nice chilled vlog and I've exploded the dish. So She's gonna be livid. That was one of her favorite dishes as well. It's all just going down the hole. Um, it's fine, it is fine. It's nothing but a bump in the road. I don't actually know how to resolve this. What do I do? What do I do? Look at this. What do I do? How am I supposed to, what? I'm gonna to have to remake the whole flipping sauce. Luckily we have another coconut milk. I've remade a second sauce. Anyone who wants to donate to my GoFundMe to get my mum a new ceramic pot feel free to um how does one even clean this up okay so it's nearly dinner time we have got some stir fried veg to go with it some rice and then mum's added kidney beans that should be good careful there might be ceramic in that oh what? no it came off in two big chunks do you know if it's like a little plate it is a nice flavor So I forgot to actually vlog earlier, but I had one of these little guys, which are really good. These are from Audi, highly, highly recommend. Incredible, in fact, the texture on the outside is impeccable. I also had a cherry bake one, but I forgot to put that in. And I'm just about to have some of these to finish my evening off. I've got to wrap it up with something savory just to really hit the nail on the head, okay? Are you ready? Yes, these, let's go. Good morning and welcome to the second day of my what I eat in a week. And we're starting off with the same breakfast again. We've got the fruit and fiber and the fruit and nut muesli on top because I really like it, I'm really into it at the moment. And obviously our hot water. It's a bit boring, isn't it? I was gonna be like, oh, let's make something fun, but 
This is what I'm in the mood for and I'm not gonna change what I'm eating just for the sake of the video. At 12 o'clock, I'm not ready for lunch yet, but I am gonna have a wee little snack because I'm just editing. And oh, I'm gonna have these, which are my favorite things, mozzarella olives. I just love olives so much. So I'm just gonna have some of these to keep me going. Finish those up and they were delicious lunch we're just gonna keep it simple i've got some sourdough this was a really bad one um because i left it out didn't i bang so it went really flat but it's okay because it's still edible and it is still all right i get it what do you want what do you, do you want some love do you want some sourdough <laughs> she's full on head butting me aren't you what do you want i just want some sourdough here's my really elaborate beautiful <laughs> lunch I'm gonna finish off my lunch with a little apple. Yes, this is a tiny apple. People always comment on the size of my fruit and veg. I don't know why this apple is just small. I swear normally we have normal size, but, and I do have a very big hand and very big head. So I couldn't fit this whole thing in my mouth. Actually, let's see. See? Mid afternoon snack time. It's very warm. So I think I'm gonna have the other peanut butter ice cream. This is what they look like. They're absolutely sensational. And the crunch, are you ready? Look really disheveled. Hello, so I'm about to start preparing dinner. What we, we actually get Gusto. This isn't sponsored, I promise. This isn't gifted, we bought it with our own money. I basically got sent a discount code in the post and it was so cheap. Honestly, look out for a discount code for Gusto. It's like 24 pounds for four people for four days. So tonight, we are going for this. I also find it way more enjoyable to cook when I know everything's there. It's like just a walk through. Cause you know, if you're cooking something at home, we are like, ah, oh, pans, I haven't got the pasta. Whereas this is very easy to follow. Fish finger sandwich. And let me tell you, every bone in my body wants this right now. Like I have been craving this all flipping day as well. It gives you like the grams of all the recipes so you can rebake this later on. Here we have it, the wedges, the fish finger sandwich and the weird little side salad. Dinner was delicious and I've just rustled up some cookies because I needed something sweet. Whilst I'm waiting for my cookies, I'm gonna have some of these weird chocolate chickpeas that I'm just gonna try. I'm trying to eat them up, but they're just so weird. I don't know if I like them or not. I kind of do, but they're like little tiny. So cookies are right here. This is the Loving It Vegan recipe. Of course, you know me, can't get enough of it. I will link the recipes that I have mentioned down below. go these are biscoff chocolate and almond pancakes they look beautiful i woke up i was in the mood for pancakes so i made them even though it's thursday morning who said i can't have a bit of biscoff pancake on a thursday morning you know what i mean yum 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 it's lunch time and I'm not really feeling inspired. I think I'm gonna have to finish up these baked beans. I don't really want to, but that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Otherwise, no one's gonna eat them. So I'm gonna have to have some baked beans on toast. I know that this is gonna be controversial for many um, in how I eat my beans on toast. It's totally dependent on the bread. So if I was just having your average granary bread or something like that, then I would put it on top as picture on screen. 
but when it's like this i have to have it in a bowl so i can manage the beans so this is what we've got we've got some sourdough with butter and some baked beans with everything but the bagel seasoning on top so this way i like scoop it onto the toast as if it was a dip because it's it's a different type of bread okay uh, all right well that was a delish um it actually really filled filled a hole and i think we're gonna have a cookie for dessert some days you just need a cookie to get through you know what i mean Mm -hmm. I didn't actually want an afternoon snack today, which is rare. I just wasn't very hungry. I'm just about to make dinner, and this is what we've got for dinner today. Walnut crusted chicken and basilic butter beans. And this is the recipe in case you want to do it at home. Don't know what it's going to be like, but we'll give it a go. So what we've got, we've got the basilic base and then the chicken walnut crusted on top with a wedge of lemon. For dessert, I did make this baked well tart, but the thing is I'm just not, not happy with it. So I don't know if I even want any. Do I want a chocolate cookie or baked well tart? Maybe I'll try some of the tart. Let's have a go. Okay. Let's give it a go. See if it's as bad as it looks. <laughs> it's not too bad actually. It's all right. It's all right. Good morning, it is day four of what I eat in a week. And this week we actually have some strawberries that I think are going off. I think, let me check them. I'm thinking of making a baked strawberry oat breakfast bar thing. I found a recipe online. So we're gonna make that together so I can use those up and try a new recipe as well because we all know I love trying a new recipe. After making that, I've established that I do not want that for breakfast. But it's okay, because I know my mum will like that, so she can have it for dessert tonight or something. So instead, I think I'm gonna have some toast. It's funny, when I bake things sometimes, it helps me realize what I actually wanna eat, because I'm making it, I'm like, no. Or other times, it makes me crave it even more, do you know what I mean? Some mornings, I just really fancy a cup of tea, and that's what I made this morning. Don't judge the color of it, okay? Also, a little hack if you use dairy-free milk, like soy milk, put the soy milk in first, and then it doesn't curdle. And to go with my tea, I'm gonna have some butter and marmite on some ciabatta toasted, because we've run out of bread. So I've stolen a ciabatta roll from one of the Gusto meals, and hopefully, no one wants it, fingers crossed. Well, I am making a sourdough right now. It's just that it's not ready. And I need toast in my system ASAP. Otherwise, I'm gonna get angry. Now, this is not a run, this is not a drill. The way you put on Marmite is an art, okay? Because no one, I cannot stress enough. You don't snap it on like Nutella. It's a thin, like you smush it in with the butter, okay? Tea and toast, just what the doctor ordered. Mm. Mm. That was incredible. I'm actually gonna have, I'm gonna have another one. Once you've opened the tea and toast round, there's just no stopping ya. I realized I didn't show you. This is what the baked oat situation turned out like i also made a sourdough and it looks like a loafer an actual why is it so rounded today it's funny sometimes you are just more hungry than other days and today i'm really really hungry so it's half nearly half past 11 and i think i'm gonna make myself a little snack this right here is a weird grace creation okay hear me out it's the chocolate cookie that i made with a bit of biscoff drizzled, drizzled on top and then i've added some flaked almonds because for texture and then i'm just a little bit obsessed with sesame seeds uh because also they're a great source of calcium so i'm gonna tuck into this this is a bit of a weird one but 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Finish that. I'm also gonna have a little apple. Just to keep me going, because I'm not eating till one, because I'm going out for lunch with my friends, so. Hello. Uh. No, so I'm about to go out for lunch with my friend. I have no idea where we're going. Uh, I'm really in the mood for Wagon Mama, but they're not doing dine-in at the one we are at. So we might get it and order it to her house. I'm not entirely sure. Um, maybe, I really don't know what the vibe is, um, but we'll keep you posted. Okay, so I just got home and Dad's made dinner. Very rare, yeah. And we have got a prawn curry, which is also very rare. This is what it looks like. For dessert, I am being really lazy and I'm not putting in a plate. I accidentally crumpled it when I tried to slice a bit of Bakewell. That is what we were having. And I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit of chocolate. Just a little bit of chocolate. I kinda just, I'm a bit of a maverick and I just like biting in to where the cubes are, I don't know why. Mmm. That little much did it. It's a Friday night and I need a little savory snack. I've just done youth. There's not been enough crisps in my life lately. So it's sad. Some lightly salted tortilla chips. Shaboom. Peanut butter toast yeah. and butter and jam oh, and a hot water. So, so legit. Lunch today, I actually made some Cornish pasties, but don't judge to a presentation, I've never made them before. And the recipe had loads of leftover, but I kept trying to fit more veg and meat in here because I didn't want it to go to waste. But then it just kept breaking because I was trying to fit more in, but I was like, but the recipe's there. But anyway, don't judge it, okay? Don't judge the recipe. <laughs> I'm intrigued what they're going to taste like. I just really fancy a Cornish pasty because I miss Cornwall. <laughs> miss that plain taste. So here is the Cornish pasty. I'm going to have mine with ketchup. Is that a cardinal sin? Yes. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the old gravy because oh, it's a little no, bit dry. You, do you don't think? It's a pie essentially, isn't no. it? They were a bit of a disappointment, but you know what? We ate it. We conquered it. <laughs> it wasn't what I anticipated. It's fine. So for dessert, that Cornish pasty actually filled me up really big. Really big? I don't know what it means. I'm gonna have some blueberries. They're really big blueberries. Look at this, they're really big. Anything to say? Lovely. I'm doing some editing, actually this very vlog, and I'm just staring at the cookies and it's like, they're calling my name. I can't not have one, you know. It'd just be wrong, so I'm just gonna have a little cheeky cookie. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie, I'm about to start making dinner, which tonight is Mediterranean fish stew and sunny aioli. Mm. Dad's pumped for this, are you? Yeah. Here it is. The police are even excited because I can hear a police car. So I've been snacking on some grapes. Oh. Oh. Okay, this is what it looks like without all the added extras. Very weird. It's got an aioli. And it's got the fish there and the thing. With that, we've got the ciabattas on the side. Here we have some rocky road I just made. Let's see the the internal. I love cutting into a rocky road and just seeing all the different things. I actually added some cherries. Um, instead of raisins. Oh, instead? Oh, you wanted raisins instead of cherries. No, I wanted both. You, I asked you explicitly, do you want raisins or so I put sour cherries and you went, cherries. No. Yeah? No, because when you were saying, maybe I wasn't listening properly. Yeah. I thought you were. Would it be the first? It was good though. 